Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's fourth video. We're going to have a look at the ECMW FX Stadium model for today's uh, fourth video. So uh, this is going to be focusing on uh, the UK and Ireland in terms of the ECX journey for the next six weeks. Gets us into the beginning of November, can you believe? Wow, wow, wow. And I shall get on with that for you in a moment just to say that the first video today was our 6am upload. We've also released Jeremy Friday at the 10 to 14 day too. It's been a busy day at Gaz where it's today, so please like, share, subscribe on the video. So thank you so much um, for doing that. Uh, just say again that the wider European outlook with the ECX Senate is always on a Tuesday. So uh, we do the uh, videos twice a week with this uh, model when it updates, you know, twice a week. So um, Tuesday, like wider European outlook, and then normally Saturday morning, but occasionally Friday evening. Um, we'll have a look at, uh, at, at just the UK and Ireland uh, with the uh, focus of the video. So that's what I'm going to do uh, this one. Thank you so much everybody for tuning in. Thank you to ECMDF.INT for supplying the charts. And uh, we shall get on with it then, uh, I think. So uh, this is the week one at mean seal of pressure anomaly. It takes us from the 26th of September to the 3rd of October. With a trough of low pressure sitting over and to the east of the country and a ridge of high pressure out in the North Atlantic. And so this leads us to be pulling in quite cool northerly winds. So we also look unsettled with that trough of low pressure as well. The 500 millibar high tsunami looks like that. Again, we've got a mid-Atlantic ridge here in the North Atlantic. It's going up to Greenland. And then we've got a trough of low pressure over northern and western parts of Europe. The squeeze of the isobars will bring the wind in from the north. So the temperature next week looks pretty cool uh, for the UK. I don't think about for most parts of Western Europe, actually, uh, below average temperatures. And uh, on the temperature scale, we're like one to three degrees below average. So quite a significantly colder than average anomaly, uh, uh, anomaly actually, through most parts of uh, the UK next week. Precipitation-wise, bit of northwest southeast split, so dry than average just to our northwest, wetter than average just to our east and south, and nearer normal precipitation in between. Right, week two is going to take us from the 3rd to the 10th of October. High pressure comes back in this week across the west of Europe. So, quite a significant change from week one uh, to week two. You will think that would start to get wind back in from the southwest and begin to recover the temperature. The 500 millibar height anomaly just shows a big, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> a big area of above average heights sitting across many parts of uh, Western Europe and extending up into the Arctic as well. Temperature always recovers in uh, the first four weeks of October and we go above average by around one to three degrees. So uh, a much warmer start to October compared to the end of September. And a weak signal, but it looks like we're going drier than average there. Uh, as well, uh, so average to drive and average uh, precipitation anomalies. Week three will be the tenth, the seventeenth of October. Mm. And uh, I don't know. And uh, weakening signal here. So you've got some high pressure across southern Europe. Otherwise, not much to work with. We'll put in. Well, two question marks, I think, and we'll move on to the 500 millibar height anomaly. Which looks like that. We've got an area of above average heights around Greenland, a trough of below average heights across the northeast of Europe, and a ridge down towards Spain. So it's a difficult uh, scenario to interpret. That is going to try and pull in winds to the north, but the high pressure over Spain will try and get wind up in the southwest. There might be a weather system uh, or weather systems uh, and uh, weather fronts that are marking the boundary there, so it might be a little bit more unsettled actually than you might envisage. Uh, the temperature anomaly for week three is going to be slightly above average, and the precipitation anomaly not much of a seal, but you can see that idea that it's wet through there and maybe a little bit through there and, and over there so there might be like a, a boundary 
between warmer air trying to get up from the southwest and colder air trying to come down from the north. That's the sort of thing, especially in autumn, that can produce some rain. So that might be a rather unsettled week, actually. Week four, we were 17th to the 24th of October. How's it looking? Oh, we've got some low pressure up here in extreme northeast Europe. We've got some high pressure down on Spain. Otherwise, again, I'm going to put in two question marks. And should I see Marvin? I don't think so. Week four, 500 millibar height anomaly. Looks like that. We've got a trough of low in. Over Scandi. And we've got a ridge down towards southwest of the country as well. So, again, quite a um, strange sort of uh, anomaly. Temperature anomaly there for week four is ever so slightly above average, but only ever so slightly. And the uh, precipitation anomaly also a little bit wetter than average again, but it is quite a weak signal. Week five will be the 24th to the 31st of October, Halloween. Uh, now we've got some lower pressure being to appear in the North Atlantic, high pressure down across the southern part of Europe. Is that trying to revert back to like a westerly flow, a zonal flow, at some 500 millibar heights? Raising the heights to our south, probably some lower pressure around here, therefore. And so that could be quite a mild end to October. And we see that with the temperature anomaly, it goes uh, warmer there, uh, around uh, 1 to 3 degrees above average on a temperature anomaly scale. So that is quite a warm or mild end to October, but also looks unsettled with above average rainfall. So it could be showing that to be quite a mild, but also quite wet October, I think, here. And then finally, we go through the week 6, which will be the 31st of October to 7th of November, and this is it. And uh, we've got some high pressure across central and eastern parts and southern parts of Europe. Some high pressure in the Atlantic. I wonder if there could be some low pressure through there. The 500 millibar height anomaly just shows above average heights really extending across many parts of Europe. It looks like there's a large ridge taking over. Temperature is still looking warmer than average by around 1 to 3 degrees. But after a chilly start, you know, for week 1, the last week of September, once that's out of the way, then it's all above average with the temperatures. Molly's is right. And uh, we go drier. It's weak, a weakening signal, but uh, we go drier then in the sixth week, that first week of November. Right, well, that's it then, everyone. What do you make of that? What do you make of that? I don't know. Uh, it looks like we've got quite a cool week coming next week. But once that's out of the way, it's warmer than average. And I'm going to feel the models flirting here in quite a wet October, I have to say. It's not, you know, it's not in your face that it's going to be wet. But interpreting the way the charts and the patterns are working out there... I think we could have quite a wet October on our hands, which is something that we've not had for a little while and would be useful to make up some of the rainfall deficit that we've had over the past 12 months as well. So we do need some consistent rain. And I think the ECM is sort of playing around with that idea. So it'll be interesting to see how it works out. Remember, any forecast beyond five, seven days comes with big health warnings and uh, large pinches of salt. It's all very unreliable, so it's just a snapshot of what Mol is showing, and could look completely different when we look at Mol again on Tuesday for the wider European uh, scenario. Well, that's it for today's videos. Please like, share, subscribe on all of today's vids. And tomorrow we're going to be back with the 6 a.m. upload. We'll have the uh, first season one rounder for winter 2022 2023. We're going to get 15 long range models together, see what they're all showing for the winter for the first time this year. That'll be up around 10, 10.30 tomorrow, as well as a weekend forecast and a 10 to 14 day or two. So, four vids coming up tomorrow again. <laughs> Uh, but for this video and for today's videos, that's all for now. And thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.